In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up your own AI WhatsApp agent. This AI agent will be able to act as your own executive assistant that can help you with any kinds of tasks within your work or your personal life. You'll be able to set up this agent with all of your favorite tools across the internet so that it can manage your calendars, send emails, research topics, summarize videos as well as articles, act as your own business coach, find files, organize your notes, and it will even be able to trigger other AI agents on your behalf. But without further ado, let's get right into building. Now, before we get building this WhatsApp agent, I wanted to quickly mention that from the things that you learn in this tutorial, you'll be able to fully customize this agent to your own needs because everybody just needs a different everybody needs different things out of this agent so i just want to assure you that no matter what your use case is by watching this tutorial you'll be able to set it up exactly the way that you want to this is what my agent looks like obviously it starts with the whatsapp trigger that is sending a whatsapp message to our ai agent triggering this automation then in the next step it goes down to the condition step here it basically just checks what message is sent it and what i'm actually asking the agent to do and it proceeds down the individual path depending on what I requested. For example, if I requested to transcribe a YouTube video, it'll go down this path, transcribe the video, summarize it, and send it back to me. Here, if I ask it to schedule an appointment with someone, it will check in the message whether or not I actually mentioned the specific person's name. If I did, it will actually go to the knowledge base, try to find their email, and then proceed with scheduling. And not only will it schedule, it will also email the attendee. But this agent will also be able to manage your calendar, meaning that you can send a WhatsApp message saying, hey, this appointment on Friday, change it to another day. And it will be able to do that all by itself. Then we have the Google Drive functionality. So if I'm outside and I'm trying to send a file to another team member, I can ask it to find a specific file on my Google Drive, give me the link, and then I can just forward that message. Very convenient. This one is a business coach, so I can ask for business advice. The AI agent detects that and gives me no fluff business coaching advice. Then another one is if I have any specific notes or I'm trying to take down some thoughts that I'm having, I can write it down and the agent will actually automatically send it to my Airtable. And then of course, the deep researcher. So rather than having all of this AI tools on my phone trying to research specific topic, I actually just can message this WhatsApp agent and it automatically sends it through deep research. If you wanted here, you could add like all of the other AIs as well, like ChatGPT, Claude, so you actually get answers from multiple sources. But for most use cases, perplexity is more than enough. Now, these are all just my use cases. These are things that are useful for me. So whatever ideas that you might have for your own AI agent, whatever needs that you might have, you can just add them on here. And it's super easy because if you take a look at actions that are available in Lindy, look how many integrations there are. You can keep scrolling and I'm 100% sure whatever your use case is, you'll be able to find an action in here that will be able to do that and you'll be able to link it to your WhatsApp agent. But now let me quickly show you this agent in action. So I'm going to go to my WhatsApp agent. I'm going to tell it transcribe this video then i'm going to give it the url and press send and here in the back end we'll actually be able to see it in action it picks up the message that we sent saw the condition that i'm asking to transcribe a video transcribed it it summarized it and sent me a whatsapp message and as you see the summary is here absolutely awesome now i don't have to watch that video i can read through the summary and see if I actually want to watch the whole thing. I use this all the time. And it will be the same flow for all of these other automations. So let's get started building. We're going to start from scratch. So we're going to click on this trigger step and search for WhatsApp. We're going to choose message received. Now I have an account in here already, but let me show you how to set one up yourself. Now, quick disclaimer, Lindy is actually so easy to build the automations with that the hardest part of this entire process will actually be setting up the APIs on the Facebook side. So once we're done with that, actually building out the automation is going to be super, super straightforward. But let me quickly show you how to actually set up the WhatsApp side. So to proceed with setting up the WhatsApp API, you'll need to go to developers.facebook.com. Here's where we get started. In the top right, I'm going to click on my apps. I have some apps in here already, but let's make a new one. Here, I'm going to click create app. Here, we'll have to give it a name. I'm just going to name it WhatsApp bot. In here, I'm going to choose other, and then I'm going to click next. Choose business, click next, and then click create app. Here, you'll see WhatsApp right away. So click on setup. Choose your business portfolio, then click continue. Then here you can click on the start using the API. Now for this to work, WhatsApp might also ask you to add your address. 
verify your profile, add a privacy page, as well as add your payment details. For privacy page, if you don't have one, you can actually go to ChatGPT, ask you to generate one, then put it into a Google Doc, and then just take a link from that and use that link. So here, we'll actually be able to choose a phone number or add a phone number. So to add a new one, you can click on the button here, add a phone number, so you can give it a name, choose a category, description, and then you can add your number. It's really straightforward. However, I already have a number, so I'm gonna choose the number that I have. And then I will click here to copy phone number ID. We will need that a little bit later. Next, go to your app dashboard in the top left, click on business settings, go to system users, then click add to add a new user, press accept, uh, give it a name, uh, choose the user role, I choose admin, create a system user. So here in the top right, click on this three dots here, click on assign assets, then go to apps, then choose the app that you just built, then click on manage app. So all of the access is given, then click assign assets. That's done. And then go to WhatsApp accounts, then choose the number that you added and then click on assign people. Choose the user that you created and then scroll down below to click on manage WhatsApp business accounts. Press assign, that's done. Now go back to system users and then here click generate token. Select your app, click next, click never for token expiry, click next. Then for permissions, scroll down and choose WhatsApp business messaging as well as WhatsApp business management. Then click generate token. Then you'll have to verify, you'll have to send an email, then enter the confirmation code and click submit. Press done, then copy your token. We will need that in a bit. Then you can click on the apps here go to our app and click the buttons here and then click open app in dashboard click on whatsapp here and then click on api setup again awesome now we go back to lindy finally so remember our whatsapp trigger click on that then click on add account then here on the top enter the api token that we were given and then enter the phone number id that we copied before as well then click connect make sure to save it i'm gonna click turn on Okay, we don't have a connection, so we can't save it. So I'm just gonna add a condition and then I'm gonna click turn on. Make sure you've done this, make sure you turn it on or you saved it, otherwise this the next step is not going to work. But you can click on the WhatsApp trigger again, then copy the webhook, go back to our Facebook, then go to the configuration, enter the webhook here, and then enter the verification token. Then click verify and save. Amazing, we're almost done. Now just scroll down and you'll see this messages tab here, click on subscribed. So now the messages will work. Once you're done with this, you can just press live so that it goes live. And that's pretty much it. If you didn't get any errors there, it should work perfectly fine. You'll just need to go to WhatsApp and then message the number that you set up. So now whenever that message is sent, this will trigger this automation. So let's actually build out our AI agent. It all begins with the condition. So the condition step will take our message and just determine what it's about so that we can send it to the correct workflow. To add a new condition, you can click here and then you can tell it in plain English what you want the condition to be. For example, here I said the user asks for help with their calendar or scheduling a call with somebody. I'm going to add a few other conditions for other functionality that we will include. That's it. I set up six different conditions and for example, for this one, I just wanted to show you that I actually included even an example of what the message will look like. You can do that if you want to. So let's start with the YouTube summarizer. So to do that, we'll just click on the plus button here. We'll click on perform an action and then we'll search for YouTube and then we'll choose transcribe video. After that, I want the video to actually be summarized. I don't want it to be just transcribed. So I'll click on this plus button again and then I'm going to click on action. Then I'm going to go to by Lindy. I'm going to go to AI and I'm going to choose summarize. And here we can actually tell it what summary we wanted to do. You can change it here to prompt AI so that we basically give it a prompt and the AI will understand that prompt and basically make a summary based on it. So I'm gonna click on that and then enter my prompt here. Basically telling it to create a high level summary that is easily digestible yet maintains most of the important details. And that's it. Now our YouTube summary functionality is complete. For the next one, I'm gonna do the scheduling one. So I'm gonna click on the plus here add a condition. For one condition, I'm going to say the user has requested to schedule an update or an appointment with a specific person. And for the other one, I'm going to say the user has not requested to schedule an or update an appointment to this specific person. Basically, it will just see whether I requested somebody. And if I did, I want to add another step here and add a knowledge base. Here, I'm just going to add text. And in this text, I'm actually going to be able to give it knowledge. So here, I'm going to say 
contact details. And I'm going to say, let's say, gene and the email, gene at genes.com. Another one I'm going to say, Patrick at patrick dot at stone dot com. You can enter all of your contacts here, with all of their names, all of their emails. And what will happen is if you request a specific person, it will actually search through this database for the email. However, for it to do that, I'm going to click on this query here, set it to prompt, and just change it to this simple prompt here. So I'm going to say search for the requested attendee by name. For example, Jason. That's it. For max results, I'm going to set it to one, just to make sure it doesn't accidentally search for more. And that's it. And then next, I'm going to add an AI agent. So these are literally AI agents within this agent. You'll be able to think through what you're asking it to do and complete those tasks. I'm going to give it a prompt here, telling you that it's an AI calendar manager. The job is to manage my calendar. And I also give it a few extra steps and explanations on what it should do. Then I'm going to click on the skills here. And of course, we got to give it some skills. What is an AI agent without skills? Uh, here in the top, I'm going to choose Google Calendar. And then I'm going to choose update event, add attendees to event, add quick event, check availability, view events, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm also going to give it Gmail functionality to, to create drafts and to send emails. Click done. And that's it. Now we have an AI agent that is able to search for the knowledge base to find emails and schedule appointments with those people and send them emails. And this step, I'm also going to link it here because I still want our AI agent to be able to manage our calendar. So for example, if I tell it to like block out Monday, it will go for this condition, detect that I didn't actually like ask it to book an appointment with a specific person. So it will have no need to go through the knowledge base and instead it will just go straight to the agent. So setting up the other functionality is exactly the same as the previous ones we did, but even easier. But let me quickly show you in case you run into any issues. For Google Drive, I just added a find file functionality. In the prompt, I entered search the file requested by user. For the business coach functionality, I added AI agent again. And I just gave it a prompt telling it like what kind of coach I wanted to be and how I wanted to answer. Then for the notes functionality, I added create a record in Airtable functionality and then linked it to my Airtable. And then for the research functionality, I just added deep researcher and that's it. And then at the end, I added a WhatsApp send message action and then linked all of these to here so that whenever each one of these actions is done, it sends a message back to the user. And then here in the phone number, I just had to do a quick thing to make sure that it works. What was happening to me is that either it would send a message back to my phone number, but it would add an American code to it, or it wouldn't use the plus, it will just message the phone number. So to make sure it works, I just click here and then I click on the message info from, and then here I just add a plus and make sure to set it to manual. So basically what it will do is add a plus in this field and then add the phone number. And that's it. Now your automation will work. However, I did mention at the beginning of the video that this agent will be able to trigger other automations. So let me show you how to set that up as well. So in our previous tutorial, what I actually did is I set up an AI SEO agent that is able to research the entire niche for you and draft amazing search engine optimized articles to outrank your competitors. However, to trigger this automation, you actually have to message this agent manually. So let's fix that. I'm going to remove this message receive trigger here and I'm going to add a new trigger. I'm going to click on talk with other Lindy and I'm going to click on agent message received. This way, this entire automation will be able to get triggered by our WhatsApp agent. And now to make sure that it actually responds back to that agent, I'm going to remove this here. I'm going to click on the plus tab. I'm going to click on action, Cl go to by Lindy, talk with other Lindy and reply to agent. Then for the message, I will just set, and then the message I will set manually. Here's the researched article. And then just add the URL and that's it. That's the entire message. Then I'm gonna go back to my WhatsApp agent. I'm gonna add another condition. The user asks to write an SEO article, article on a specific search term. I'll click on the plus here. And I'm going to click on perform action. I'm going to go to buy Lindy, talk to the other Lindy, send message, choose my SEO assistant, and then text. Actually, before I do this, I want to set a quick variable just so to make sure that 
we only send through to that agent the search term and nothing else, just to make sure we don't run into any issues. What I'm gonna do is click by Lindy. I'm gonna go to Lindy Utilities. I'm gonna set variable. Then here for the name, I'll say SEO search term. And then here I'm gonna say only include the search term that the user requested. So I basically told it to only include the search term that the user requested to write the article about. Ignore all other parts in the message. And then I give it an example. And then I have to change this to prompt AI. This is like not go linked to our previous step. So let's actually link that. I'm gonna drag it out here. I'm gonna remove this step. And I'm gonna take this one and actually move it here. So we have the variable first and then we have the message. And then here in the send message, I can just choose set variable and just click value. This way the message that will be sent is simply the search term that we requested. Then after reply received, I'm gonna send that message in WhatsApp. And that's it. You can click on this button here actually to clean this up. And actually just to make sure that the condition is clear, I'm gonna give it an example as well. Example, write an SEO article on best boxing gloves. And I'm gonna click save, go to tasks. So I sent in a WhatsApp message saying to write an SEO article on the best boxing gloves. As you could see, found the condition, it set the variable exactly as we needed it to, best boxing gloves, and then it delegated it to an all-in-one SEO assistant. You can click here to go to our SEO assistant to see if it's working. And as you can see, our SEO writing bot got to work. It got a message, best boxing gloves, used that as the search query and proceeded to go to work. And that's it, it finished writing the article, created the Google Doc, added it to the Google Sheet and then send that as a message to our WhatsApp Lindy bot. As you can see here, here's the research article, did the URL exactly as we set it to do. And that's it. That's how simple it is to set up your own AI WhatsApp agents using Lindy. You can sign up on the free plan and start testing it out. And if you want to get inspiration on even more automations that you can do with Lindy, then make sure to click the video on the screen now. I'll see you there.